Hi guys. Uh, today we're going to draw Molly from the Bubble Guppies. Okay. And this was requested by one of my awesome artists in Mrs. Pope's class, second grade class. So uh, grab your pencil, grab your paper, grab an eraser. I've got a pink one today. Super awesome. Um, and let's start drawing Molly. Okay. We're going to hold our pencil as usual when we're sketching and hold our pencil way back here toward the end okay we're going to draw light until it's right we're not using a sharpie to draw so let's focus and try to draw molly here okay We've got our paper turned portrait style or um, we would also call this vertical okay up and down we don't have it long ways like that because we're going to draw molly she's got kind of a big head with a lot of long pink hair and she got a little tiny but longish kind of mermaid body right so we're going to turn her paper this way so she fits the best okay so the first thing we're going to draw is um, right above the halfway point on our paper we're going to draw a pretty big but super light I cannot say this enough to you guys if you don't draw super light if you draw really hard on the paper a it's gonna be hard to erase B you're gonna get super frustrated because you're gonna mess up I, I mess up all the time okay I've been drawing for over 50 years I still mess up okay you are never going to be able to draw every single thing 100% perfect every single time okay you're gonna mess up and mistakes are just practice okay it's just experience so draw light try practicing drawing with super light okay circle and then we're gonna draw a kind of a curved line like that down below it and another kind of real super light curve line beside it and this might be hard to see but I've got a curved line here curve line here and a super light circle there okay all right that is our groundwork for drawing our main drawing main part of the drawing okay so her face let's start with the side of her face like this and travel along our circle okay you can draw this a little bit darker it's just a curved line okay and it comes down to about here right at the very bottom and then we're going to draw a little short diagonal line coming off of that we're going to draw another little kind of line it's going to be almost like straight down from our sketched circle there and then we're going to continue from that up to about right there not quite halfway up that circle okay and then we're gonna draw a backwards C shape now we've got the outside of Molly's ear and a little tiny curved line right inside of that okay next we're gonna draw her arms so we're gonna ignore a little part of this right here I drew that up a little too far so we can erase because it was nice and light okay we're gonna draw sketch kind of a straight line coming out there and like a diagonal kind of a line coming down there like that okay so they're they're tilted but you can put them at any angle you want they're her arms okay so you can make her arms stick out or hang down or stick up wherever you want okay at the end of this arm is a little tiny little tiny thumb little tiny upside down U okay and at the end of this line we've got a right side up you okay then for the rest of her hand 
We're drawing an actually kind of a big U shape. Okay. And over here, kind of a big U shape like that. All right. So this thumb is on the top. This thumb is on the bottom. This U shape is on the bottom facing that way opening toward her head this U shape facing inward also toward her head or body right but the thumbs if you get the thumbs right because this is her right hand so her right hand sticking out like that the thumb would be up here wouldn't it and the left hand she's got the back of her left hand facing out like that if both of her palms were sticking out then this thumb would be up here right because you'd have it would be kind of like that thumb up thumb up right but the back of her hand is facing out here and the palm of her hand is facing out on this side okay so our U comes up here just past where the thumb sticks out and then guess what we're going to draw that little skinny line all the way back there okay this same exact thing actually I messed this up a little bit this line is going to be like this this hooks to her actual body sorry and this line comes down like this okay and you can line this up too if you want to this this actual line can be a little bit longer here like that and then kind of line up with that line right there coming down out of her neck and this one can kind of match that too if you see what I'm talking about these two lines imagine this coming down and around like that imagine this one coming down and around like that okay so now you've got the basic shape of her arms okay let's get rid of this little sketch line this little part As her body comes down and it bends out a little bit and curves back in like that but this side curves in also so we don't want it sticking out too far we want it curving and getting a little little tiny bit smaller down here toward her mermaid tail okay and then the mermaid tail is just a curved line coming out a curved line coming out so outside outside like that and then you connect the ends of these two lines with a little bit of a curve in between not a lot we're not doing a big like U shape just a little tiny bit of a curve there okay and then from that point it's super easy to make a little curve line here and a tiny little dot for her belly button and then we go right underneath her arms another line and another one right below that to make her little top that stretches across okay and now we've got basically everything done except for a couple fingers here I'm gonna do curve line there and another little line like that and the same thing over here just a little bit of a line there and a little bit of a line there remember you might remember from another video uh, I was talking about cartoon characters having four fingers usually it's three on their hand so they have those three like that but they also have their thumb it's just easier to draw cartoon artists don't want to spend all day drawing fingers and fingers and fingers and fingers they want to go boop boop two little lines there you go 
four fingers, that's that's good. Call it a day, right? They're done. All right. So then, next thing we got to do is draw Molly's eyes. Now, if you imagine her eyes going about, they're about halfway down her face. We'll draw a super light line across there, right through the middle, imaginarily, through the middle of her ear, because her face is kind of tilted up this way, right? That's about where we're going to draw the ovals for her eyes, kind of right in the middle of that. Now I'm going to draw them super light because I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to really do this the right way to begin with. To me, they're a little bit more circular, so I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to do super sketch, but I'm going to do a little bit more of a circle than I am an oval. And that's the best thing about sketching. When you sketch really light, you can kind of test things out, you know, experiment with it. See what it looks like, see what it feels like. And I'm like, meh, okay, that's, to me, it's, it's a little bit better, okay? And then she's got... A circle and a circle and then guess what another circle and another circle and each one of those has a little tiny highlight in it okay and then she's got one two three one, two, three. Little eyelashes. Super easy nose. Just a little curved line. Like that. <coughs> Not much to that. And then her mouth is real easy. Just a little curved, little bit of a curved line there. It's like a, a diagonal kind of a an angle like that and a u-shape but it gets kind of narrow at the bottom but then it comes up and meets those two corners and then a little bit of a curved line underneath that top line of her mouth for her teeth and then they really just draw like a little circular shape and that makes her tongue okay she's got an eyebrow out here which is a little bit thicker on this end and then thinner on that end okay same thing over here but the opposite because the thick end is going to be toward the middle of her face and then the more narrow end on the outside but as you can see we have a problem she's she's bald we got to give her some hair right so easy to do the hair let's erase a little bit of our sketch lines here take that off the top of her head because we don't need any of those lines anymore for reference points do we take that out of there take that out of there that out okay and let's start up here above her eyebrow and make a little dot okay and we're going to make a curved line but then it's going to curve back around almost like an S but not like we're not going to have this curved part on the front. So, an S shape that comes around and points right at the middle of her eye. Okay? So, once you've got your S shape there, we're going to start back at our little dot again. We're going to come down and way out and up. 
a little bit crooked, Miss Pink. What's going on there? Way out and up like that. And then we're going to make this line curve down and up to the top of our ear right there. And then we're going to make another dot uh, right about there. Up above this point, but over to the right, I mean, sorry, to the left, just a teensy bit. And we're going to do curve out, way out, and up like that. Okay, then we're going to start over here at this point. We're going to go curve down, make like a U shape. And guess what? We're going to make a big rainbow shape over to this dot. Okay? And I've said it before. Uh, I believe I used it in the um, rainbow dash drawing video. There's a, an amazing art teacher on YouTube and her name's Cassie Stevens. You guys should really subscribe to her channel. She's smart, she's funny, she's super creative, and she's amazing, okay? And she's an art teacher in real life, just like I am. But she taught me this trick where you take your finger and you kind of trace around. Go from one point to the other point where you want to draw that line before you actually draw it. So then you get it, you know, kind of in your mind... And your mind says, oh, okay, yeah, we can do that. See? No problem. So, her hair is shaping up pretty good here. Let's go down here to this point that we stopped at. And let's go down, 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 back in and up just a little bit and stop. Okay? Over to the other side. We're going to go down and out just a little bit back in just a little bit then uh, down and up like that in a curve okay so down out in continue your line and up if you get a little bit of a janky like it looking curve there we're not drawing super hard so we can erase it and we can fix it okay so we got our little, another kind of an S shape there. Let's bring that right on back like that. And then we do another curve line down right about there to her body. And then we've got one line left for the outline of her hair. And it's going to go... We're going to imagine this one continuing around, around, like that, and going back up there. But her body and her arm are in front, there in the foreground, okay? I'm going to clean this up a little bit while I'm staring at it, and it's staring back at me going, look at me, I'm, I look pretty horrible right now, okay? So now we've got our outline of her hair we just have about four more little lines that go inside our hair shape this one goes there another one goes about right there and then we get another one that goes about right there this isn't really actually that pointy I don't like that super pointing thing going on there. Okay. To me, her eyes are looking a little bit a little bit crazy, but they'll look a lot better once we do our Sharpie and we color them in. Okay. So this middle part there is going to be black. The um irises that's the colored part of your eye hers are going to be brown 
Okay. That looks a little tiny bit better. <laughs> Excuse me. So it's going to be, there's our whole design. And you can, if you want, you can do the little kind of shapes she's got in her little mermaid outfit. And then do your Sharpie and color it in. And you're done. Thanks for drawing with me today.